Welcome to Good Works Tractors. From snow to mow, Good Works Tractors is the place to go. Shop GoodWorksTractors.com, subscribe to our channel below, like our Facebook page, and stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Well, hey there, uh, tractor lovers. Thanks for watching the channel today. We are going to do a quick inventory overview, and um, this is the majority of the inventory right here, actually. And I'm a little low right now. Was on a hunting trip there and uh, sold some tractors while I was gone, and you know I need to get back in the swing of things and make some make some deals. So got a couple of units in the, uh, the the unit next door as well, and we'll take a look at those also. But uh, do have a John Deere 3039R right here, very nice machine. And again, when I'm going through these, I'm just going to give you a little bit of general info here real quick, mostly just so you can have a visual of what they are. Go to our website, goodworkstractors.com. You'll get all the information that you need as far as pictures and details and pricing and this and that and the other thing. So, um, but again, John Deere 3039R here, 2017, a lot of warranty on this one, pretty low hours. Might have this one sold to a customer. Um, just had a backhoe quoted to add to it, and I think he's going to proceed, but... Uh, as of this moment here it is still available beautiful machine uh, let's see this one was a trade in here 2305 john deere an older one um, you know decent shape i mean it's got some wear on it shows some age i don't typically take these in uh, but you know you can tell you took pretty good care of it here and and cleaned up pretty well all around so 2305 there i think they have that one priced at like eight grand or something right now check out the website Take a look over there. Now I actually have another one of these that's almost identical. It's John Deere 1025R, the real, the real popular model there. Um, you might have seen it. I'm using the other one that's pretty much just like it in my, um, in my snow pushing videos right now that I've done in my, at my house. So anyway, but they're both set up, these quick park loaders and buckets and drive over auto connect. 60 inch mower decks there. So uh, this one's a 16. The other one at my house is a 17. Back here in the corner, this is going to be one of the new style 2032Rs, all right? So completely redesigned. I'm going to see if I can hop over this bucket here and get back there and uh, show you a little bit closer. But yeah, this is a beautiful machine here. You know, you do have the quick park loader, quick attach bucket, uh, auto connect, drive over 72 inch mower deck on there. Just gorgeous shape all around. But, uh, and, and the unit next door, we'll go over there and take a look. I do have an old style or a classic style 2032R as well. Okay, but um, this is a new style here. Now this guy here is still here. Uh, unfortunately, I had two different um, customers that weren't able to get financed. And, um, you know, I thought I had it sold a couple times, but nonetheless, it's still here for, for somebody who... Uh, wants to pick it up it's a, a kind of a rare combination a three series you know a 3520 so 37 horsepower got that additional electro hydraulic third function on there you can see that with the thumb control Let's see if i can give you a little look at that there oh can you see that there or not oh i'm stretching i'm stretching i'm trying to make it work see that little gray knob there yeah that's it there for the the thumb control you do have the auto connect drive over mower deck on here as well quick park loader and bucket okay and then this guy here You'll notice it just came in a little bit of a leak on that uh, cylinder right there. There's a seal right around there. I got to take it in and get that fixed. Um, backhoe on here, loader and bucket. Does have a belly mower on it. It's outside covered in snow. Got to wait for that snow to melt off a little bit. Also has a hydraulic uh, front plow on it. So sweet machine. Uh, I tried everything out on this one. Everything runs great. Like I say, there's just that right in this. Oh, where's that? You, can, you might be able to even see it right. Yeah, you can see that fluid right right there just in that seal there it's it's dripping down and and i don't know it must be going back this way i guess and coming down but uh, anyway that's that leak there no big deal we'll get that fixed up so yeah anyway let's uh let's head over to the other unit here i'd show you some stuff outside but it's it's mostly covered in in snow right now which you know that's no fun there it is so there's all the attachments for sale you know and i will say you can see some of those uh Rotary cutters sticking up high there, and I got some around this uh, trailer there also. I'd like to get rid of those. I'd like to get rid of, I got some extra land planes out here and some box blades too that, um, you know, they sell a little slow in the wintertime. So get a hold of me. Maybe we can make a, a deal on one of those if you're close. Shipping brush hogs is kind of a, a challenge, but um, the other stuff, you know, box blades and land planes, we can ship a little easier. This is my gem, my baby right here, but um, this will be for sale at some point in the future. It is 
it's not really for sale now. I mean, I guess I, I kind of have a problem. I'd, I'd sell any machine that I have, but um, I intend to hang on to this one for a while. So 40, 66 hour cab tractor, kind of decked out. You can see the uh, rear remotes back here, hydraulic top and tilt. Yeah, yeah, I really like this one. So also, I got this in recently too. Now, I, this is for me. I'm just storing it here in the wintertime, but I'll uh, hopefully have some more videos of this in the, in the spring to show you guys. But this is a Toro Realmaster 3100D, okay? Yeah, it's a golf course mower. Uh, specifically, it's a fairway mower, and so you're going to have three reels. You have one here, one here, and you can see that other one kind of just tucked. Same thing as these, just tucked back in the middle there. And so, um, yeah, I, I've kind of got the shortcut grass itch and uh, have been getting into this quite a bit. And so... This sucker is sweet, Kubota diesel engine in there also. Um, they do have a sidewinder option, so that, not, not this one, but they do make one that you can actually shift those reels side to side and kind of cut offset uh, if you need to. But um, yeah, Toro Reelmaster 3100D, pretty sweet, at least, you know, if you're into that kind of thing. So back here, I mentioned earlier, got a 2032R classic style. That's going to be this guy right there. Okay, I got some more room here. I can kind of back up and give you a little um, further back overall look there. But this is still going to have a drive over deck, but it is not auto connect. Okay, it's still going to have a quick park loader and quick attach bucket. You can see that operator station is a little bit less refined, uh, just more basic, which is okay. That's just kind of part of the, the classic style, but it's also priced considerably cheaper. So again, go to the website, goodworkstractors.com. And then here we've got a beautiful grasshopper. 727K is a model number there. That uh, I did the video on this up, you know, by itself, and so you can check it out. I go all over this um, hopper there and everything else. It's never been used. That thing is that thing is basically brand new. It might be a little bit older, but it's it's never been used. And 61 inch deck. This deck flips up. Got uh, electric actuation there. It's it's a, a a beautiful machine. Just beautiful. So got information there on my website also. So, like I say, pretty low on inventory right now, but uh, I will have some stuff coming in. I got a 1025 with a Mauser cab coming in. Uh, I got another 2032R coming in. Um, you know, I know I've got some other stuff. I've been offered a lot of stuff lately. You know, a Kubota, oh, MX series, I think it was, with a loader and backhoe. Um, oh, what else? Some TLBs, some 1025 TLBs, some, shoot, even a, a Massey with a, with a cab on it that had like... 30 hours on it or something but oh also i forgot i do have a 5083e um it was having a little bit of hard starting issue not really a big issue it was just once in a while and so i took that in a green mark have them check it out um looks like there's some sediment or something in the uh, the fuel system so that's just getting flushed out right now and and that'll be back here but um you may have seen uh, some pictures and video of that before on my facebook page or on my website so check that out too 5083E, that's a big dog, got a cab on it, loader, everything else, 83 horsepower, one of the biggest machines I've ever had, beautiful piece of equipment. So that's the other one that I have that's not here right now. These brush crushers, if you haven't seen these, these are really awesome. This one here is for a, a, a skid steer setup, and then I've got somewhere tucked in here, I don't know where it's at, but somewhere in here I've got a, a John Deere style as well. Oh, sorry, it's over here, we'll take a look. But, uh, and so you can put these on, these are like a grapple, but you don't they don't require hydraulics, okay? And so you'll have to see one in action. Google the videos, I don't have a video of them yet, but um, essentially you can get yourself into a grapple, basically, a poor man's grapple almost, without having to have a third function on there. So pretty cool machine. Do have one more of these cedars. This was a, um, oh, a demo. Well, demo is not the right word. It was never used. It was used at like farm shows, that kind of thing, like a trade piece. You know, and um, so it's got a little age just, you know, cosmetically from sitting out. But um, go to the website. i got more information on here. This one is discounted, actually. I think I've got 300 bucks off on this one. So, uh, bump, bump, bump. Oh, here's those other cutters, the 48-inch cutters. Got plenty of those as well on hand. So I've got a few odds and ends, too. There's a bale spear for somebody, you know, got a landscape rake and tillers lots of forks always okay here's a look at the 1800 series pusher this is what i'm using on that 4066r haven't actually used it yet but um you know it's a it's a pretty big dog 84 inches so seven foot wide you know take a look out here you can see that big green pull behind 
snowblower, okay? So this is a pull type snowblower right here. Hook up to your three point hitch, you know, right here, there and there. And then you can drive forward over the snow. I think I got the PTO shaft off, the long shaft, but that's where it would attach to, right there in the middle. Okay, and it's just gonna shoot it out. My distributor is selling a boatload of these. I guess they're uh, really gaining in popularity. I haven't actually used one yet, but i uh, hoping to. So snow pushers, you know, got a handful of them over there, tillers, land planes, uh, finish mower, that red thing there to finish mower, box blades there. This is a Furminator, okay, six foot wide Furminator. Need a big tractor, at least a three series really to run that. Um, here's a mini grapple, okay. This is gonna be perfect for like a subcompact, like a 1025R. They also have them in black for the uh, skid steer quick attach, okay. Here's a look at the front side. This is a super lightweight grapple, okay. It's only around 200 pounds. You need a third function to run it though, okay. Yeah, these pushers here that came in are for uh, uh, an order that uh, customers had placed a while ago, and they just just arrived, so they're going to be getting picked up here in the coming days. So anyway, um, you know, if you're in the market for a tractor, get a hold of us. You know, we try to keep all of our tractors stored inside. I didn't really mention this tractor over here. It is sold um, to a gentleman who's who's stationed overseas right now, and uh, thank you for your service there, sir. And I'm keeping this tractor here, storing it for him until uh, he gets back from his um, overseas assignment. But uh, get a hold of us, goodworkstractors.com. Give me a call, send me an email, text, Facebook message. Happy to work with you, happy to help. We can ship these tractors all over the place, and I ship tractors constantly, okay? So uh, attachments too, we can ship a lot of attachments. But um, yeah, check us out. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel like my Facebook page. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. Thanks for watching.